Hey guys, what's up? It's Josh here with another episode of Eternal Pack Cracking. And today we have Avacyn Restored as our pack of choice. This was a format that, uh, limited-wise, I actually enjoyed quite a bit. I know it got a pretty bad rap, and, and certainly there were a lot of, of bad cards at the end of the packs. It was sort of hard to, to build a deck at times that was without any chafe in it, but... But there's some, some sweet stuff too. One of the most powerful creatures ever, Gristlebrand. That's probably what we are interested in opening here today. Um, and be sure if you're interested in packs for yourself to check out capefeargames.com and uh, take a look at what they've got going. So without further ado, let's open this thing up and see whether we get anything sweet. I, I mean, there's some miracle cards, but Gristlebrand would certainly be my choice here. I'm sure it's the most expensive card, too. All right. So, we start with a five drop. He's playable. There's one unplayable card. Oh, there's actually, like, surprisingly a first pick card. Windcrafter is a pretty good card, too. Deathwind, definitely a first pick card. Unplayable. Pretty much unplayable. Unplayable, basically. Bad. Vanishment's good. Or at least decent. Goldman Commander's really good, though. Triumph of Cruelty, I never really used. There's our Human Token. Another good good card from the set, Foil Trusted Force Mage here. So, no big money, but uh, honest to God, even with as few a uh, few really high quality cards as we're, as we're in this pack, there were some of the better cards, limited wise. Um, so that's it for today. We'll be back next week with another pack. And, uh, See what we can open. Be nice to open some money in one of these at some point. But yeah, as far as first picks. Yeah. Gold Knight, Forest Mage, Deathwind, Lancer. I think I would probably take the Deathwind. Just because removal is so hard to come by in this format. But uh, we'll see you guys next week. And until then.